Hello Mallards, it is Friday. I'm at a la carte. Uh, I am eating a lemon candy glazed donut. At least I will be here momentarily. I'm really looking forward to it. It smells delicious. Uh, and I'm waiting for Fitzsimmons because she's in town and we're gonna meet up and hang out. Uh, it's been many hours now, at least one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Fitzsimmons is here now. Hi. With her hair looking so good. This color, I don't, it's just, it's, I don't it's know. a bit of everything all at once. But it looks so good. <laughs> Austin is here. You can't tell, but he's there, I promise. <laughs> and Rebecca is here, which is a delight. Special, special yeah. day. Special um, appearances. Bye, everyone. And we are at, well, actually, I'm going to make Rebecca do this because she works here now. Where are oh, yeah. we? We are at a la carte. Uh, it has food trucks, as you can see outside. We have quite a few drafts, lots of cans, uh, super cool open air beer, food truck moment in the milk district. So it's one of my favorite places. And I work here. Yeah. And it's for the record, it was one of her favorite places before she worked here. Like, okay. I want to say that Correct. so that everybody just doesn't think that she's I work here because I like yeah. it. <laughs> uh, I got poke. I got a donut earlier that was delicious. I got potato wedges that were incredible. I got poke that's also really good, but I have a donut and potato wedges. I ate all of Yeah. I the ate all success of story over here. <laughs> so we're chilling, having lunch, having a good time, chatting about life. It is time for the second part of the day. Uh, had a delicious lunch, and now I'm hanging out with Amanda, and we are going to go to Undead in the Water, a haunted ship in Tampa. We're in Tampa, we've, we've made it. We've right. succeeded in that part. Tampa. Now we gotta do the part where we find this haunted ship. But here's the thing, is that we have no idea what to expect from Undead in the Water. All I know is that it's on a ship. And I know less than that. Well, she knows that now, now but uh, ah, la, la, la. <laughs> uh, so we we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're ready. F we're maybe re I don't know. We're excited. We're maybe not ready. Maybe saying we're ready is pushing it too far. Yeah. But we're here and we're gonna go. It's a it's a ship. We're about to go on that. Amanda, we're about to go on that. And maybe get scared the whole time? I don't know. Oh man, I'm gonna die before we even get there. There's also the Haunted Wharf maze, which like... I don't know if that's part of our experience. I don't know if it's part of our experience or not, but I'm strange. just saying that like, if we get off and there's not a long line, I'd be willing to just do that. Wow. Uh, there's the entrance, we're almost there. We're getting so close. So we're pretty sure that this is where people exit, but they are exiting at a much slower rate than they are entering, which bodes very well for our journey inside of this ship. <laughs> like, like this is the fourth group I've seen go in and no one has come out. So we did leave the ship, despite the fact that everyone on there told us that we couldn't leave. Some people just asked if we wanted to stay. Yeah, Some that's true. Like, okay. Yeah, Some I got invited to dinner. And I also got invited to be dinner. Um, I got asked to stay, and then I got told I could never leave. And yet, I did leave. That, that did happen. A night of contradictions. Yeah, a night of contradictions. Uh, I definitely want to come back when this is not on. Just like a regular just, museum. Yeah, and just see what the ship is like, because man, was that a wild time. We went up and down and around and like over. We were all the way on the deck of the ship. We were way down into the boiler, like bowels, where it was very warm. It was very warm. I regretted bringing a cardigan. Um, I will say, one thing that I usually do in haunted houses that was not local here is normally I identify where the pool holes are so that I know when someone's probably going to jump out of me. It's a lot harder to do that when it's a ship. Yeah. And not like a haunted house that's built to be a haunted house. Yeah, so they were everywhere or anywhere at any moment in time. And it was really fun. Like this is definitely the most one of the most unique haunted houses I've ever been in. It is unique. And I did have an enjoyable time. It's it's a little bit scarce on scare actors. But also they, it's a ship, right? So there are a lot of like tripping hazards. Yeah. I feel like if there were more scare actors, they'd have more people tripping as well. Yeah, I would agree with that. 
you have to just shoot already. Yeah, because there are definitely a lot of trippy hazards. You gotta step over all the bolt walls to like get between the doors. Um, I will also say too that we maybe suffered a little bit from being at the back of a group of screamers. Uh, like if it had been the two of us just pulled in by ourselves, we might have experienced things a little bit more. As it was though, they do have a lot of people who like hit the front and then have like secret little hidey holes that they can run around to hit the back of the group, which I think is a really good use of like the space since they do like pulse through groups. And it, we were in there for a while. Like it is a journey we went on. I did not check to see what time we went in, but it was, it was a while. Yeah. It felt like a while. It, it probably it, was less time than it felt like. But it or did feel more. I don't know. I'm not sure. But there were moments like pausing at the stairs where there's like people looming at the bottom where you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can keep going here. Ooh, wow. But it was really, it was very fun. I would recommend. Make the journey out. Amanda? That was fun. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you're ever going to get to experience a hot on a ship again. So you should totally come check it out. And now we're going to see about my the, the maze that's down there. We're going to find out what it's about. We have made what was clearly the correct choice to get off of SOS and then come back around and do the haunted wharf. Especially because this looks like it might be like an actual maze as well as being like a haunted oh, maze. I didn't think about that. <laughs> like, I think it might be. It is an actual maze and I'm delighted. Actual maze. I'm letting Amanda choose our next route. Oh, I like these swimming skeletons. I like this whole area. All right. I'm all about these little peekaboo skeletons. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We've reached the spiders. They're coming for you. They're coming for you, Amanda. Which way are we going? We have we have several options. Oh my darling, I'll never let go. Romance by the soothing sounds of that person vomiting. <laughs> what a wild moment we were having. Fun. That's not at all creepy. Okay, let's, let's cut the speaker out. Now it's not at all creepy. <laughs> Jeremy terrified me. Oh god, so good. It's like a very good answer. So good! I have regrets. I have regrets. I have regrets. We're not scared at all. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That was all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. You look amazing. Listen, that mermaid being a real person is terrifying. No, do not record this. This also terrifying. Oh no, it's a dead end. Look at the spider skeleton. Hey, we officially emerged from the haunted wharf. And it was an actual maze. We went into several dead ends. We discovered a mermaid that we did not think was real that was definitely real. <laughs> she just did a really good job of oh, like. I was so scared of the night. Yeah. Because I was like, wow, this animatronic's really good. That feels out of the budget. <laughs> <laughs> that was the person. But she did such a good job of like keeping her top because the only thing that moved was her tail in exactly the same way. I'm like, oh, yeah. so, so like well they done. Just made this like mannequin and then they made the chair rock. That is not what happened. No, no, real person working real hard. Uh, a lot of real people working real hard in there. That was fun. It's the first time I've been in a haunted maze that was a maze in a while. You know, I just feel like I'm always lied to by the maze part, and I was not. My biggest complaint: there are spider skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, spiders don't have skeletons, guys. But Someone should. Skeletons. Amazing. Listen, this thing, this thing full of skeletons. Uh, the skeleton store was very happy to get this order. Yeah, absolutely. So I feel like we've had a very good night. How about you? Oh, I've had an excellent time. Yeah. And uh, now we're going to drive home, and I will see you tomorrow.